I'm with Roy Sly, who's the Sales and Marketing Director for BenQ UK, and uh, here in force this year at ISE, and the focus of interest really has to be the new laser uh, projector. One of the things I've noticed over the last um, 12 months, 18 months with, with BenQ is that you've definitely gone up a level in terms of we're seeing some innovations now that we're mm. seeing way before uh, other of the big CE brands that are out there. So, so what, what's changed in the company that's brought that to? Obviously, you've identified innovation as being a key differentiator. Absolutely. I mean, BenQ as a brand is, is 10 years old, as you know, bro. Mm. Um, but I think the three years previous to that has been a mixture of channel development, and a mixture of new product innovation. And I think certainly what we're seeing at IC this week is product innovation with some of the new technologies and, and products BenQ are bringing to market, particularly the, the laser model. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For those who don't know, I mean, I, I, I was lucky enough to see it uh, last week and, and, and to, to try it out. And I, I, was, uh, I was impressed. I was, the thing that impressed me was it, didn't, it wasn't weird. It, it worked as a projector ship and a good projector. Mm -hmm. uh, but, do, but how does it actually work for those who don't know? Well, it's still a DLP projector, yep. so we still have the, the DMD from Text Instruments. And the light source is replaced by a blue laser system, and there still is a colour wheel in there representing the colours. So as you noticed, it, it works as a projector should do, and gives you the colour and cont contrast that you would expect. Um, and is driven through a technology with a 20,000 hour uh, light system. So pretty much in a school environment, 20,000 hours equals 20 years which is a very long time to so using time. a projector in a school <laughs> environment. So you can almost say that it is a lampless technology and the lamp mm. doesn't need replacing over, mm. over the usage life of the product. But as far as the user's concerned, it's a projector. You get the colour quality and the usage quality that you would expect from a DLP projector. Yeah, excellent. And of course the energy saving features, these are um, a major factor now for buyers. Uh, 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 the um, uh, uh, the EcoBlank where it dims the screen almost totally. It takes a little bit to get used to using it. Does. it. Especially if you've got an unfamiliar remote control, because once you plunge the room into darkness, you can't actually <laughs> work out how to get back on again. But, uh, but it, it, it does make, it's, it, in terms of total cost of ownership, Indeed. it makes a significant difference. Well, we, as you know, are working with Philips for quite a while with their image care technology, mm -hmm. which is an interactive system that looks at the content on the screen and the amount of energy that's needed and dims the standard lamp to the amount of energy that's needed. We've transferred that technology over into the Blue Core product. Um, and partly the reason why, when we first spoke about Image Care, why we used a different name and how we did it was to transfer it over to other products. So, Image Care within the Blue Core product can go as low as 10% of the energy needed to give you an image on screen. So, the Eco Blank that you mentioned on a standard lamp is 30%, it's actually 10%. On a blue core product, it, it's, it's quite dark. Yeah. <laughs> it is. So if a teacher leaves a room for twenty yeah. minutes, half an hour, yeah. a standard projector will use as much energy as it's presenting an image. This unit will drop down to about 65, 70 watts of energy while in eco black, which is a massive saving for a school. Mm. Well, the new projector is, is obviously a, a, a star uh, on the okay. Benki boot. Um, you, that's not the only innovation we have here. We also True. have the uh, interactive displays. What, what's, what's the rationale behind the move into that marketplace? I think very clearly the rationale and our positioning for it, because I'm sure you've seen from ISA there's an awful lot of interactive panels out there. BenQ are a screen company. We own AU Optronics, uh, one of the world's leading large panel screen manufacturers. So taking that knowledge and technology, making a very good 1080p screen, in sizes 42, 55 and 65. Here I'll be in 65 because it's LED backlit, so energy saving again. Mm -hmm. We're talking again about the, uh, the eco message. Putting on top of that the technology from smart owned next window, the touch technology, the camera technology. So combining those two. And then for the UK, adding on the channel of Stelgis to actually work with their partners through the smart channel, with and without smart software and to put it as a, as a solution both in the corporate space and the education market as a collaborative using tool. And I think the technology and the products is, is good quality, but I think the channels are important as well and how it's positioned. Mm -hmm. So in terms of availability of the laser projector, um, we're, we're looking at Q2? Q2 will be ready for sale. From now, we're able to go out to resellers, out to schools, demo product, test products, ready for the peak season for Q2. Mm -hmm. So available to buy Q2, available to demo now, immediately. So I guess the introduction of the, of the laser and the interactive panel are your main objectives for this ISC. Um, how will you qualify the success? What's, what's your benchmark for a successful show? 
I think for a European organisation, it's footfall. I think the mm -hmm. people on the stand and the feedback on the product. I think for the UK, is looking at what we've done with our market share. We ended 2011 almost 6% market share. And you know, Brad, with BenQ, that where we've come from and where we are, we've hit that 5% and continue to grow. And I think the technology that we have, the channel and the opportunities that we have now, are very strong in, in uh, working with our channel partners. For me, personally, for the UK, it will be represented in... in uh, sales of in, in, within the UK market. Excellent. Thanks very much, Ryan. Okay.